the clock can I talk to somebody right now? And it is amazing, it is amazing how we have all the the spiritual application, but we fail at the things that are of God. Isn't it amazing that we do everything that we got to do? Everything that we got to do to watch this to impress each other. We get dressed up, watch this, we try to find Greek, we try to find Hebrew, we try to define Latin words to impress folk with our vocabulary while we're preaching, watch this, but at the end of it all, we can't even speak to each other in normality, I got nobody saying nothing about that, you shout the church down for five hours, and then you have no love after the church, how in the world? I do fool of God, but don't know God. Oh God, I need to talk to somebody until you wake up in North Carolina. Lean on your name and say neighbor. How I do fool a church, but the church ain't in you. I thought I came to tell the woman was at the way of the Bible. Somebody say the Bible, the Bible. The Bible, we go out and say the Bible. The Bible said that the woman came to the well. Jesus didn't tell her you who. Jesus didn't disrespect her. Jesus didn't call out her mess. He treated her with love and respect, which gave her a heart that we couldn't open to receive prophecy. Some of y'all trying to prophesy to people you offended and wonder why they don't want to receive your ministry. I ain't got nobody up in here saying nothing. We got somebody in saying neighbor. You cannot prophesy if you don't like me. You cannot lay your hands on me if you don't love me. Some of y'all sitting here with that church look, but I'm about to knock it off your face. You got somebody in saying neighbor. But don't let me be out Don't you touch me if you don't love me. Christ needs to learn. We need to learn to stop embarrassing one another. We good as long, watch this, as long as I make you happy, we good. You'll come hear me preach, we'll pack this room out three times over. But the moment you hear something negative, the Lord God about me, this room will be empty. Then your living room, I ain't got nobody saying nothing. Ah, but when I tell you about your living room, the Lord said somebody about to get new furniture. I tell you, tell you, you looked at it too. I see a catalog book. Somebody looked at it, even on your computer. And the Holy Ghost said, and your phone represents your computer too. He said, you looked at it on the web. I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready, I'm in the wrong city, I said I'm getting ready, God said to do it, put your hands in here, and open your mouth real loud, and say do it Lord, he said I'm getting ready to do it, you sit down and standing up, and so Jesus treats her with love, compassion, he shows her the spirit of God, in effect, I don't show in a robe behind the microphone show me God in your respect and in your character show me God in your integrity I got the wrong city but I got the right word show me God when the church lights are off and the music turns on I'm preaching better than they talking and the pastor go home Show me God when we have to dine the table. I don't let what you do in church change when you get out of church. My God, because. 
don't you know we got master performers in the church we got people oh god can i preach this thing somebody say preach black man i want to tell you right now we got great church and when we get out of church we become satan's evangelists and then we wonder why people don't want to come to the church but the bible says jesus is at the way he appears as if he's in strong. Ah, but the woman at the wall had enough God. Now, is it amazing? This is an adultery. But she has love. He loved my son. So that lets me know that the spirit of adultery is not the fact that it is just sex with somebody else that you're not married to while you're married. No, it lets me know that one of the root problems to adultery is it is an individual that's full of love that have not found the right compatible partner to love them in exchange with how they love them. I ain't got nobody up in here. Folk are not cheating because they just want to cheat. There are some people that are looking for something that they have not found in what they decided to settle with. Now here is the problem. You chose it, but you want to blame God and say that that's who God gave you. No, he said he that finds a wife finds a good thing in the other world. I find no fault in why I cannot love you. That means that you are holy and you are complete. I come to get somebody out the devil's den. Because this is the last season. You ever go cheat on your wife? This is the last season. They don't want me to preach in North Carolina. This is the last season. You ever cheat on your husband? I call my son to my house. I see you up in here. You better open up your mind and say, God, make me compatible with what I desire. Hey, God, put a cup in your hands and open your mouth. And say, God, I'm ready to change. I'm ready to change. Jesus, come on, Jesus is at the well, come on, he's at the well, he's there, he's seated, and Jesus is talking to the lady, stand on my right, he's talking to the lady, he treats her with love, he treats her with compassion, and he says to her, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but where is your husband? And she's in chains. Uh, my Lord, I have no husband. He said, Thou have answered correctly. And even the one that you're with right now is not your husband. What, 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 what was Jesus saying? He's saying, The one that, that, that sent you down here to the well, he's not yours either. So when you get back home to the house that you don't belong in, or he don't belong in your house, however it is, because you know now today, uh, the man ain't got nothing, and the woman got everything. That's a whole other message. And if I start preaching on that, then run out of here and never come back. I don't want shit out of my heart. Uh, uh, but I want you to know this. I want you to know this. Somebody said, where did they find him? They got me in New York and Brooklyn. Uh, I go over to God by way of London. Uh, watch this, watch this. The Bible says that Jesus says to the woman, uh, he said that the one that you're with, that's not even yours. Uh, but if you would hear, open your mouth and say, hear the word of the Lord. If you would hear the word of the Lord, I want you to know that even though you gave me water, I'm going to give you something that will cause you to never be in what you're in ever again. Okay, I come in here tonight to release a never again anointing. You're in the struggle right now, somebody go and talk it. And go back to the hotel room and sleep. Uh, somebody bored and maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, I said they're gonna be there. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, uh, what you're in right now, uh, the Holy Ghost told me to tell you uh, that you get ready to come out of it uh, and you will never again. Uh, I just need about 12 believers. Uh, just open up your mouth and shout, I'll never again. Uh, 
see this place I do. Yeah. I get, 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 get. When he delivered to the children of Israel or of Egypt, they never went back to Egypt. Because in my life, I'm never going back to Egypt. I'm never going back to bondage. I'm never back to Israel. But I wish I just had about seven of y'all. They had the Holy Ghost and knew how to use it. And just speak the tongues right with you. With all of your might. He said, he can't. Don't you 
gonna be able to stand because I feel power with you. He said, he said, the devil ain't gonna be able to put his hands on your stuff in this season. I'm giving the lay hands because I need to snatch somebody out from the clutch of the devil. He said, to tell somebody that the enemy to steal your promise. He tells the woman that go back where you came from and tell that season it's over. But there's some of y'all in here to your house and tell the Egyptian that you left at home that it's over. Some of y'all got somebody in your house and you ain't married. But you better go in there on your way home and make up your mind. Either we get married tomorrow while the prophet's here or you got to get out of my house. Cause I'ma tell somebody something right now that you don't want to hear. God ain't gonna let you shop this year and shock up at your house. I ain't got nobody saying nothing right now. God ain't gonna let you shop this year and smoke like you a drug addict. And drink like you a fist. I come to prophesy. God is gonna get you out of it. And me somebody grab your neighbor by the hand. Shake your neighbor What the song said And sing me I got a word I got a word Cause I feel good I got a word from the Lord God's about to snatch you out of it Just read about 17 believers To jump up on your feet And open up your mind Cause there's an anointing To snatch you out of it I got the wrong people. Cause you 
problem. Let me tell you what my problem is. Let me tell you what my problem is. I heard more music than I heard your voice. Oh God, I was that. I wish I had somebody. I wish I had somebody to talk to right now. I said I heard more music than I heard the praise. I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. Deliverance have a sound. You heard? I want you to say it. Shout again. Shout again. Shout. I said deliverance has a sound. Did y'all hear that power in her throat? Did you hear that power in her belly? I said deliverance have a sound. You can't talk about you deliver, and you still ain't got a praise. If you are the over, if you ready for a real experience, I want you without the music. Throw your head back and cry out right now. Cry out. Oh, God. Come on, son. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Every place of fear, every place of depression, mm. oppression, the things that I'm, okobosha, disappointments, every hurt, everything that I'm calling, I'm tying it all together. I'm going to snatch it out of you at one time. Ooh, God. I cancel every lie that was spoken over you that made you believe something that God never had for your life and it brought you to a place of much pain. I want to go back over the past 17 years of your life and I want to heal you from every wound. Or to go shut down of a high. God said you're going to move forward in this year. Glory to God, happy, totally free, and even with peace in your mind. I cancel the memory and the thought that brings you back into depression and heaviness and sometimes sadness. Sometimes you don't even want to get out your bed to live, but I... I tied it with spirit that's not like God. I got it in my hand. Here it comes. I got it in my hand. I got it in my hand. I, I, I tie it together and I command the storm. And go. Come on. Yes. Go. There it is. Come on out of here. Come out of here. There it is. There it is. You got the Holy Ghost? Speak in tongues. We work in deliverance. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Come out of here. Out of here. in the area with her mom because when I, when, I, when I touched her just now I saw her mother's face and God said I'm healing that pain and I told uh-huh uh-huh lower your voice lower your voice lower your voice lower your voice, lower your voice church uh-huh uh-huh come out of there come out of there come out of there come out of there 
Mental illnesses, crystal spirits, in the name of Jesus. Cycles with bad men, and crystal spirits. Yeah. Lift your hand, you need a miracle in 17 days. Oh, God. I said a miracle in 17 days. Just step out here, there's an angel here for you. Just step out here. God said, 17 days, I'm going to visit you. <laughs> Give it to her, Give it to her. Give it to her. Give it to her. Come on. Come on. Give it to her. And there's also, there's also a spiritual promotion. Uh-huh. Because you're behind time spiritually. Yes, I'm putting in your spirit. I'm putting in your spirit. There it is. There it is. Catch up. There it is. Catch it. Catch it. There it is. There it is. Come on. Uh-huh. The intercessor. The evangelist. The prophetic insight. Let her rest in it. I need you to come. I need to break something off of you. So you'll be a better mother and a better helpmate in your family. Because there's some things that you that you're fighting and struggling with from your childhood. I hear the Holy Ghost saying tonight is over. Tonight is over. Stay with me in the Holy Ghost. Don't you die in the Holy Ghost. Come. Come. I said it's going gonna, it's gonna to break. I'm going to tell you all the good stuff first and then I'm going to come after all that negative stuff, okay? You're in a new place of living. I want you to hear this. Because where you are is below your limits. I seen it when you came and you gave your offering. The Holy Ghost said, tell her, I have a four and a half bedroom house for her. Did you hear this? Four and a half. I didn't see a full five. I saw four and a half. Because I'm looking at it kind of like a little, little half area. Almost something like you would do for a nursery. I also see like some type of educational uh, uh, um, activity. And, am I prophesying to the right person? Okay. I saw like some kind of educational, like a teacher um, a corner in this half room. I see alphabets on the walls and numbers and charts. Because, because you have a mind that when they don't get in the school, I got to give it to them because they got to make it. They got to make it. They got to make it. They got to go where I didn't go. They got to go where others in the family did not go. And I cannot afford for them to go down the road of hard life. And I'm going to live the hard life for them. And I'm going to give them the best life. But God said your latter life is greater. You, you live for everybody else. But God said 2019. I want you to catch this because you need this. God said by August 2019, by the 17th of August, God said to tell you that your life is going to be transformed and you're going from struggle to living. So, look, uh huh. I, I, I see that come on. When I touched your face, go to God, I seen a woman that's on your heart. She's on your heart right now. She's, she's on your heart. You, you believe in God for some stuff. Some breakthroughs, some healings, and some deliverances. Yes, some people, there's a few people that's on your heart, but there's a woman in particular that I'm seeing yes. that God said, I'm getting ready to visit and I'm getting ready to move. I don't know if this is a relative or whoever you have closest on your heart, but God said, I'm getting ready to move for her. And when I touched your face, God said, I'm touching her identity. 
touched your face, but God said, I'm touching her identity. Move on. I don't know what it means. Only you know what it means. God said, I'm touching her character. I'm touching her behavior. The things that, that if she that if she's not stopped, move God, the enemy's going to do what he wants to do and take her down a road she ain't going to be able to recover from. Move God, I don't know why, but I'm also seeing some, some levels of incarceration around you with different family members and different people that God says, move God, that they should not have belonged or ended up in jail, but there's some that God said, I'm getting ready to give a record clean. I, I, I hear a record clean. I hear a record clean. I hear a record clean. I, 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 God said a record clean, and it's going to be a miracle because they did the Hoshana, because they deserve the time, but God said, I'm canceling the time, and I'm going to sit on you. And I'm not saying you. Okay, God said, I'm going to cancel it. And I'm going to show your bloodline a miracle and it's going to bring them in. Uh -huh. Now there's a drug demon that I see lurking in your bloodline. And God said, I'm going to deliver them from drugs. I see strong drugs. Uh -huh. I'm going to crush that devil. I'm, I'm, I'm going to snatch out your cousins. Uh -huh. You know I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. What did you say? I forgot about them. Huh? You forgot about them, but God said, I didn't forget them. I'm about to snatch them out. I need somebody to open, open your mouth right now. I need somebody to open your mouth right now. And I activate this anointing on your life. I activate this prayer mentor. I activate. Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it. I activate this prayer mentor. I activate this prayer mentor. I activate this prayer mentor. God said, this prayer mentor is coming with fire. You will pray with fire. You will pray till an angels show up. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Angelic assistance said the spirit of the living God. Lift your hands, sir. Your money's about to change. But there, 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 is, there is some more. That's about to come over your house. God said, get ready for a brand new life. It ain't just a new place to live. I also see a new vehicle, family car. This family vehicle. And then the big Are these members of your church? These, uh, who are these people? I know them, but they're not members. You know them, but they're not members. Okay, what church do they go to? We're in Georgia. Got in Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia? And you came all the way here? Uh, lift your hands. I'm, I'm going to give y'all a miracle. Now you don't come from Atlanta, Georgia to North Carolina and don't get no miracle. I said I'm going to give them a miracle. I'm certain some of y'all that sit here waiting for me to touch you and you try as a pool. I come to prophesy over somebody that drove over four hours to get here. See no joke. And when that man get up, God said he gonna get up and he's gonna rise up in creativity and business. I see business on here. Good God, it's okay to have work for somebody else, but God said that there's wealth for him. Business is on here. You taking your family to another place. Talk to me. I got a car business and a phone business that that is a screw. I I I um merged my company with some multi buildings. Oh my God! God said, "Not for your shot." Yeah, I thought that thing. I thought that thing. I thought that thing. I thought that thing. They did not make it. I thought that thing. God said, "Tell him, get ready to become a giant in the world and get ready to become a multi billionaire with them." See, some of y'all don't understand this kind of thing. Some of y'all don't understand this kind of thing. When y'all started hollering, God said, heaven open. Let me, let me, let me tell this man this. I gotta go. What, what time we gotta be out here? I gotta, I gotta go. Let, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go. And God told me. God told me, when we started hollering, prophetess, God told me, oh God, and he showed me, first of all, let me tell you what he showed me. He showed me heaven open, and then he told me, tell him, he's about to get a new piece of property, like a land, so he can open up multiple locations. Again, I saw contracts on the table, 
And God said, but God didn't ready to sign more than what you drove to sign. He said, again, this is your season to see the overflow of God. And this is the reason why your family is so close to this brand new place of living. You said, I can't stop until I see it. I got to see every drop in the bucket. And God said in the cup, God said, you get ready to snatch your whole bloodline out. It ain't just there that you're in your house, but it's also others in your family that you say, God, I got to get them out of it. I got to, I got to, let them go go Even if they got to move and relocate, God, I'll help them to clean up their life. God said that there's a prosperity anointing over you, man of God. And God said to tell you that the next time you go to the closing table, God said that there's a triple release that's coming to the numbers. There's something that they offer, but God said, I'm changing the numbers, and I'm about to show you say, but I need somebody to open up your mouth right now. This one got enough sense to shout by some of y'all be standing there. Um, lady right there in the black. Yeah, you. I want you to talk. God said you need a touch of strength. I don't know what it is that's been troubling you. Lift your hands. But God said the trouble is over. God said the trouble is over. Just lift them up real high. Say, Father, I release it to you right now. I want you to mean when you say it. Say, Father, I release it right now. Mm -hmm. Lift your hands. God said because of your obedience. He said by the month of April, I'm looking at it. April, hear me, I'm looking at April 17th to the 21st. That's your week. God said, because of your obedience, I'm going to restore mm. in areas you didn't even put your mouth on to ask me for. Hear me, there's some stuff God said, I'm going to blow your mind. But God wants you to stay focused, stay consistent, remain obedient, and don't look back. You hear me? You hear me? Where's your wife? Where, where's she at? Come here. Come here. Come here. I remember, I remember you too when I came here last time. I, I remember. I remember. I remember. And there's a, come, come on, mamas. And there's a place that God wants y'all to stay consistent. Come here. Come on. Come thank you, boy. Don't worry. Because if you go down, guess what? I brought a new toy with me tonight. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Don't make me do it. If you make me put it on, honey, we'll have church in here. Glory to God. Glory to God. I got rid of my musicians and brought me a new toy. Glory to God, and I had more church than I ever had in my life. Glory to God. God wants y'all to remain in a stable and consistent place. Not a moment that come and then pass by. God said, remain. And God said, and flow together. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Hold these other hands tighter. God said, flow together. And don't let nothing... I just heard, I just heard the word whisper. Don't let nothing and don't let a whisper seep in your ears. God said each other's voice, your leader voice, and my voice. You hear me? Because the enemy want to trick you out of your road to freedom. Mm -hmm. You're coming from dependency to independence. Yeah, it's going to happen this year. Yeah, Hold on. Yeah, Y'all yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. have kids? No, not yet. Because I see a kid. Woo. I see a kid. Mm -hmm. I see a kid. Mm -hmm. and, and it's almost like a, it's almost like a Hannah cry. I'm like a hand to cry. Uh -huh. God, I, this is what I want. This, this is what I want. I hear you praying about this thing. Uh -huh. Don't touch my womb. Don't touch my womb. Breathe on me. Take me from bear right now. To birthing. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't leave yet. Stay with me. Stay with me. Because I have a healing anointing on me too. I'm gonna just prophesy and cast out demons. I heal. Stay with me. 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 Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Like fire. 
like I consume, move right now in her tubes. Move it up, fertilize. In the name of Jesus. There it is. There it is. And she will not just birth naturally, she will also birth spiritually. I'm going to move the blockage because I'm going to tell you what happened. The witch got involved and crushed your hope. But I take the spell and the curse off of your world. Uh huh. Glory to God. 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 The anointing that's on me, y'all not ready for this one. I'm not ready. Y'all not ready for this one. So I gotta translate it in a different way because the anointing that's on me wants me to grab certain areas and let the anointing flow through. But, but some of y'all, y'all take that the wrong way and I'm live and folk will take that thing and they'll make mockery of kingdom. So I gotta, I gotta translate it a different way. I gotta translate it a different way. I gotta translate it a different way. Her womb is about to open. It's opening right now. I want y'all to really know that. It's opening right now. Open it 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 right now. Here it goes. Here it goes. There it is. There it is.
like like backlash. There, there, there's some there's some complication. That's the word that I hear. After labor confrontation. I, I, but I, I, I heal the area mm. of your stomach. I'm looking at it. I see the fire guard on your stomach. I'm going to touch you. I just want you to receive this, okay? To just, just let go and just, just let go. I'm going to I'm gonna touch you one time. And I want you to receive this. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your healing power. We curse every complication. Ah, yeah, tell me. Satan, you're rebuked now by the power of God. By the power of God. I need somebody to just lift your hands. Can I pray with him? Can I pray with him? Yeah. Can I pray with you, sir? Come. Can I pray with you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hug your mother, Daniel. Hug your mother. Lift your hands, sir. I don't know you, but as you were on the floor, the Holy Ghost said, touch you. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every demonic spirit that have tried to embody and house and enslave. It is. You see it? It is. It is. It's not like they want to talk. Come on, Satan, and make my night. Come on, son. Come on. Deliverance. Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Every stronghold. Every stronghold. Every stronghold. Free them. Loose them now. Loose them now. Loose them now. Loose them now. Heal the heart. Heal that mind. Uh -huh. It is. Come on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It is over. You lose some in love. Yes, God. It is over. Some of y'all, I'm gonna say this. Some of y'all, there, there are strong spirits of torment. Yes. Some of y'all. Tomorrow, if I don't preach, is it okay? I'm just gonna move and flow tomorrow night. More time. So there's some tormenting spirits on some of y'all. There's some of these young people. And I want to get it off with some of you. Already on the leg, they call soul of a hata. In the name of a double who's In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I give him the praise. I give him the glory. I give him the glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is what I want. It looked like a lot of people left. I don't know if they went to the bathroom or something. But a lot of people left. Huh? This is what I this what I, this what I need. I need everybody. I need everybody. Come on. 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 And my assignment is not just to minister to you guys, but my assignment is to usher you into your new place of worship. I'm not playing. When I leave this city, y'all gonna be in a new building. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I told the pastor, I said, I'm coming to get you in that building. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I said, don't, I said, don't you worry about me. I'm coming to get you in that building. And I got in my car and I drove here. Yes. You hear me? Yes, God. Thank you. Now, in the result of me coming here to help you, you're getting a spiritual release and blessing. I want you to know I come to get you out from where you are. We're grateful for those that help us. But now it's time to help ourselves. Where's the force at? Don't you? All right, don't you get quiet on me now. We're going to help ourselves. We're going to help ourselves. I need five of you. I need five of you. I'm not afraid. Keep that loud because I have some supporters that's about to sow as well. I need five of you tonight. Stay in the Holy Ghost. 
Yeah, come on, Dan Young, come with the anointing with that, with that, that you, offer basket and that, that swiper. Yeah. There are five of you. you. I want you to move with the seat of $200. Five of you. you. Five of you. I want you to move with the seat of $200. Five persons. Apostle is one. Five people. Apostle is one. Apostle is one. I'm not going to tarry. I'm not going to take long. I'm going to raise it very quickly. Because that's how fast y'all need to be in this building. Yes. I got time to play, y'all. I, I didn't come all the way down here for good preaching, accurate prophecy, and good shouting. And we still going to possess. Yes, sir. The devil's a liar. I rebuke, I rebuke good church, Amen. but broke people. Go ahead. Oh, yes, sir. The devil is a liar. Uh -huh. We get ready to get it. You want another one? She's another one. I know what I hear that's in here. I want you to get it on you. Come on. Three more people. Get a seat of $200. You're watching my social media. Go right now to TylerThompsonMinistries.com and lose your seat of $200. Go right now. Help me put one of my spiritual daughters in a brand new building. Yes. Go right now. Yes. I, I'm, not I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Who wants to sell that two hundred dollars? Come on, step over here. Come on. Come on. Step up. Move quickly. Step right over here. Move quickly. You sewing it too? Y'all sewing it together? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. We can. Come on. I, I don't have time to play. Come on and move now. Come on. So y'all sitting there, you contemplating. Yes. Lord God, you're going to contemplate, keep your money in your pocket. I ain't begging you. Go ahead. I'm the wrong prophet. <laughs> got time to beg nobody for no money. I got time to beg nobody. Danielle, you hear me? I got time to beg nobody for no money. Either you want to get in this building or you don't want it. Come on and get in there. Get your checkbook. Write your check. Get your debit card. Shift it out of your savings. It's sitting up in here. A lot of you married couples have it. I, I can be a whole shut that about. A lot of you married couples have it. Get it on you right now. Come on. Sew it together. Sew it together. You saw a man of God? Thank you. Come on. Come on. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Come on. Come on. TomLThompsonMinistries.com. Those that are sewing by way of cash app. Apostle TST. Apostle TST. My website, TylerThompsonMinistries.com. Those that are sewing by way of Cash App, Apostle TST. Go right now, lose your seed, and put in the memo for Apostle Wilson's building. You saw it? That's it. So how fast that was? We, we ain't got to tarry. I got five people already So We ain't got to tarry. We ain't got to tarry. We ain't got to tarry. From the time that it takes for you to get from this building to your house, lady, there's going to be a supernatural miracle. And I see a big angel about to visit your mailbox. You've been waiting on something to come in that mail. And God, I'm getting ready to visit your mailbox. There's an anointing, a supernatural anointing on your mailbox. And God said also tell you, get ready for some, uh, uh, some express mail. This is going to be some mail that you have to sign for that you didn't know that was coming. That God said has your name on it. There's some stuff. I, I see some back pay. Back pay. Back pay. Back pay. It ain't just you. That have things that are due that are back paid. But God said that there are back paid seasons that need to come into your life. There's a woman that you've been fighting with in the spirit. It's a, it's a stronghold. I'm looking at this woman that fights you in the spirit. Lord of God. And try to hinder your flow and your anointing. Mm -hmm. She's trying to be a witch, but she ain't a witch. She don't know what it is. She don't know what it is. She got a witch-like spirit, but she, she, she ain't got no power. It told man said about Hatila by Kushandala Bahaya. My hand is on you, and I'm going to keep you from evil. See, it's the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to have to worry about cutting nobody loose. Step up here. There's an angel up here. You ain't got to worry about cutting nobody loose. God said, I'm cutting them while you're walking towards me. Yes, God. Every enslavement. I see somebody trying to curse your money. You were good to people. They tried to curse your money. Oh. Try to curse your money. Oh. Come off of her. I 
God do some ministry. She should be traveling and preaching the gospel. I was this lady's ministry. There's revivals and there's different encounters and things that are in her spirit to have. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But be kosha. But be kosha. But being but being at the well in Tobo Sundala Bahaya in the wrong season at the wrong time. She has not gotten her breakthrough. But tonight the Holy Ghost said she's just now broke wet. Tama I know you're tired. I'm letting you go. I'm tired too. Glory to God. I've been traveling since six o'clock this morning. I'm tired. This lady just got something. I need her to come back tomorrow because I, I need to give her an impartation of more power. Lord God. TimeoutThompsonMinistries.com. Go right now. Sow your seed into the life of Apostle Wilson. Put in a memo. This is for Apostle Wilson's building. If you're sowing by way of Cash App, Apostle TST, help me get her in this new, this new building right now. Everybody else in this building. Everybody else in this building. Because you're waiting on me to go down the line and down the list. Everybody else in this building. You go to, Yes, Father, I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Who have that fifty dollar seat? You said I didn't have that to, that two hundred, but I did have a fifty. Who is that? Get it, get get it on you, because I, I hear that as well. But everyone else, <laughs> there's, there's one person that I'm looking at with a seat of fifty dollars. Everybody else, I want to challenge you. Notice my words are different, because I don't have time to lie on God. There's one person I see with a fifty dollar seat, and everyone else, I want to challenge you to get a seat of forty dollars. I'm not going no more. So if you got a partner, whatever you got to do, you better get it. You got to get it. Come on, those that are sewing at 200, I want, them to, I want them to sew first. I want them to sew first. I want them to sew first. There were angels. It's the F sharp. Ministries.com. 
Those that are on my web cash app, Apostle TST, go right now and lose your seed. We're helping a pastor get in a new building. Go right now and sow your seed. I don't want your money. We're helping another leader get to where they got to go. I want you to go right now. That's right. They're coming all around the building. Thank you. Come on. That's right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow I'm going to be on time. I promise you. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to wear something looser. And I'm coming ready in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I'm not going to preach. I'm coming to prophesy. Somebody say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want you to invite folk out. Amen. Glory to God. I was coming down 95, Apostle Wilson. And I don't know how many from the force that can go. But I was booked to come minister Thursday night in Kinley, North Carolina. Kinley is one hour away. That's all. Only one hour. Only one hour. Kinley. K-E-N-L-Y. I'm going to put it on my Facebook page. The flyer. Kinley, North Carolina. It's next to my hometown. I come out of Selma, Smithfield. That's where I come from. Oh, with a God, hallelujah. And I want you guys that can as many that as possible, I want you guys to come with me on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. We're giving a go turn the other side of North Carolina upside down. The bishop said to me, that's, that's Thursday at 7 o'clock. They start prayer at 7. They start worship at 7.30. I'll be there by 7.30, I promise you. Amen, glory to God. And the bishop told me, he said, I just need you to come lay your hands on me and heal me. Glory to God, hallelujah. And so I'm excited. If you have not registered for, amen, my Signs, Miracle, and Wonders Conference that's coming to your church, amen, March the 15th through the 16th, I want you to register. It's only $20. Amen, glory to God. Somebody in here sent it to my cash app already. Amen, glory to God. I want to thank God for you. Amen. In the name of our God, Lord God, I want to thank God for you. Amen. A few people have already registered. I'm bringing a few people from New York on a charter bus here. Amen. Glory to God. I'm bringing my musicians. They're going to mix in with y'all musicians. And we're going to have church. Ooh, glory to God. Y'all praise team, my praise team, it's going to be crazy. And baby girl is on the line up to sing. I'm excited about this thing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I want you guys, glory to God. Amen. I have uh, one of my friends from the Word Network is going to be here with us. Amen. The Ambassador Sharon Edmond. I'm not talking about, I think you're going to get healed. I know you're going to get healed. Amen. She is a healer. Amen. My mentor, she's coming. My mentor is 65 years old. I'm going to give you this very quickly. My mentor is 65 years old. The doctor told her, you need a hip replacement. And she's a woman of faith. She said, I rebuke you, Satan. I'm not having no hip replacement. She said, God's going to heal me. I invited the healer in with purpose that my mentor could get healed. Because I know the agony and the pain, woman of God, that she was in with the hip. It was so bad that there were days that she would sit and she would cry and scream and holler. And I couldn't help her. And tears would well up in my eyes. And I said, God, I'm anointed for everybody else, but I can't heal my mentor. You know, those that are anointed and, and spiritual know that kind of frustration. You know, you, 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 you got an anointing for everybody else, but you can't do it for your own family. You know, move to God. And, and it seemed like God would use you for everybody else, but won't use you for what you wanted him to use you for. But, 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 but. I ran into this lady while I was on television. And I was ministering for Bishop Bloomer at the College of the Prophets out here in North Carolina. I forgot what part I was in. And I was ministering Greenville, Green, Greensboro, Greensboro, somewhere, Greensboro, Greenville, wherever I was. And I was ministering. And while I was prophesying, me, Brian Conner, there were so many of us. And while we were prophesying, while we were ministering, I met the healer. And she came to New York and she had herself a healing crusade. And she invited me. She said, I want you to come and I want you to just read the scripture. Now somebody would have said, well, I'm an apostle. I ain't coming to read no scripture. I got my happy self up, got dressed, and went and read the scripture. Because I'm not too great that I can't read the scripture. I read the scripture. And when I read the scripture, I prophesied with the scripture. They're not going to say nothing. Glory to God. And while I was ministering the scripture, when it was all over and said and done, 
I said to her, I said, I watched her heal a young lady there who was blind. Young lady came on a walker and she left out without the walker. I, I see this before with my own eyes. And I walked up to her and I said, I want you to come to my church tomorrow. I don't care how much it costs. I need you at my church. Because I have a lady in my church that needs to get healed. Because I can't, I cannot, I can't know what my mentor is going through and watch you heal somebody and know she got a chance to get healed and not have that hip surgery replacement. Come on, y'all. She showed up at the church. She told me what it was. I said, okay. She showed up at the church. I wrote, I made a fly. I told the people, if you ever, if you ever need a healing, if you ever believe in miracles, you better get to this service. The church was jam-packed, standing outside. I had more people outside than I had inside the building. We lit up the gates. He was looking in, trying to get a word from the Lord. Hello, somebody. And I'm talking about, it was cold outside of New York. Folk had on their coats and they, they, they scarves and they, they hats. The woman of God, they were standing out there waiting, hearing that word from God. And I want you to know, the, the woman of God said, God told me no more miracles. She said, I can't heal nobody else. She said, God said only one more. My mentor looked up and said, she looked at her face and saw God sitting on her face. She said, well, I might as well get the miracle because I need a miracle. She said, I need healing. That's what my mentor said. I need healing. And when my mentor got up, she went. Can I touch you, mama? She went and she touched the hip of my mentor. And she said, <laughs> she said, you don't need healing. You need a miracle. See, some of y'all need to know. Healing is different from miracle. Healing is I take what's there. And I renew and restore what's there. Uh -huh. Miracle is I recreate yeah. what you don't have. Hey, don't you mess with me. I... Yeah. She said, I'm going to the courts of heaven. I'll be right back. I'm going to get you a brand new hip. She put her head back and put her hand back. Glory to God. I, 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 come on, Pastor. Tell these people the truth. I don't want them to think I'm making this up. And if you don't believe me, it's on my Facebook page. We got a record of it. She put her head back, put her hand back, and she went up in the spirit. And I'm nosy. I had to go behind her. I said, look, she shot up in the spirit like a like a lightning bolt. It was so fast. I said, whoa. I said, where did she go? I can't see her. I closed my eyes and said, and shut up there with her. By the time I can get up to where she was, she was already coming back down. I know what some of y'all do when y'all come to church, but I follow the preacher. I need to know everything you're doing, why you're doing it, and how it's getting ready to be done. I'm watching you. My eyes are open. I'll close my eyes and shout. I open my eyes and shout. I need to see you. But the devil will sneak up on you if you ain't careful. The prophet, I was coming. I was going up. She was coming back down. And when I opened my eyes up, she took her hand and she did, and she took that took that hand and said. That hip in my in my mentor's hip and snatched the old one out. I said, Whoa! She told my mentor, she said, What else you need? She said, Oh, the doctor said, My pelvics, and they gave her a new pelvic area, and then, and then my mentor was suffering from arthritis. And, and, and bone on bone, no yeah. tissue there. Look, look, look that, that's one on. Okay, mama, you know what I'm talking about. She started shaking her head. She know what I'm talking about. She, she, she needed cottage. And, and, and she said, um, she said, okay, I'm gonna give you some cottage. Pull that, that cottage in there. She said, move your leg. You feel me, pain? She said, just a little. She said, okay, you need a little bit more. Put some more in there. She said, I move your leg. I watched my mentor at 65 years old start moving her leg like she was 21 years old. She said, do something you never could do before. I watched my mentor bend all the way over and touch her toes and come back up. Now I'm talking this a lady that came in with a cane and got back up and threw the cane down and started walking like nothing happened. I know something that I believe. I said she got healed. Got a miracle, but I feel something better. Got a miracle. I started tearing. I started crying. I went to a Holy Ghost fit. They had to get me together. I was speaking in tongues and screaming, give me my checkbook. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing ever. I was at the, at the same time. I was trying to 
give me the camera. He said, what? I said, the checkbook. Give me the checkbook. And when got my checkbook, I wrote her a $2,000 check. And I know some of y'all believe in that kind of Holy Ghost. You're trying to hold on to your little bit of money. You go out and think that you're impressing somebody by giving them your little $20. I wrote a $2,000 check because I know that she was dealing with a hip situation. When I can see her, a turbo shot, and I can see her go from a game to walk in the dancing. Now I watch my mentor dance that night. She danced like she never danced before in her life. Lord of God, the church went up in praise. And I'm telling you, ever since that day, she never had another game. And I'm telling you, you better come, you better register for this conference and get there. The healing is coming. And if you got sickness or disease in your body, I don't think you get healed. I know you get healed. I don't know if some of y'all are familiar with Kathleen Coleman, that, that type of hour. Okay, okay. I'm talking with gold grew in their mouth. You, you go to the dentist now and get your feelings. No, 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 the Holy Ghost gave them gold caps. You dated that crazy man and cut your fingers off. The Holy Ghost gave you your fingers back in the service. That's the kind of anointing that's going to be at this conference. March the 15th through the 16th right here at your church. Lord of God. And I want you guys, amen, to come out. This is my friend from the World Network. And I want you guys to come out. Amen. Lord of God is going to be an awesome move of God. Amen. In Jesus' name. And I want you guys to come. Amen. Lord of God. She ain't just a healer. She's a demon slayer. You know, it ain't no service until the devil come out. Amen. Lord of God. She's a demon slayer. Amen. Lord of God. We believe in the power of deliverance. Amen. So I want you guys to come. Amen. In the name of the Lord our God. Somebody say amen. Amen. And so I want you guys to come out. Amen. In Jesus' name for that. Uh, we want to also say uh, that same weekend I'll be in Sumter, South Carolina, March the 17th and the 18th. I'll be in Sumter, South Carolina. And North Carolina, South Carolina is going crazy that I'm coming. Glory to God, hallelujah. They've been trying to get me for years. Amen. And somebody was crazy enough to finally book me to bring me down there. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm coming. Amen. Glory to God to South Carolina. Amen. And I'm traveling with all of the people of God. If you're able to come, you better come on and get on the road. Amen. And come on and drive and get your deliverance. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I would love to see the support. Amen. We want to bombard South Carolina. Amen. Glory to God with North Carolina and New York and other surrounding areas. Amen. Glory to God. So we encourage you all to please. Amen. Let's stay connected. Let's come out in Jesus' name. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, I'm going to be here. Amen. Invite somebody with you. Don't come alone. Amen. I want this place to be standing room only. Amen. We want to fill every seat in this place. Amen. We did great tonight, but we want to do greater tomorrow. Amen. Lord God, I will not be long tomorrow. Amen. Glory to God, I will not be long at all tomorrow. Tomorrow when I get up, amen. Glory to God, I'm ready to go off. Amen. Lord God, I want your spirit to be open. I want you to come. Amen. Just because I touched you tonight Don't mean I'm not going to touch you tomorrow Amen I plan on touching everybody tomorrow Amen Glory to God Amen Glory to God Since I last seen you Amen God said to tell you There's been some turnarounds Glory to uh -huh. You ain't got to tell me He said there's been some turnarounds And you said when you heard that I was coming You said I'm going to see that young man Come here Come here Come here Come here Because God's going to settle your feet Even with coming Concerning things with ministry You're going to go where God told you to go and Not where you're comfortable with going Come here Turn this way I want them to look at you Because God want to make you now Uncomfortable To make you comfortable With who he's called you to be You understand what I'm saying This has nothing to do with a Specific church this has everything to do with getting you to where you need to be spiritually. There's a call on your life. You're more than just a seat warmer and a giver. Mm -hmm. You're my evangelist. You're my mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. And God, there's something that God's going to do with your dream world. I'm going to do something real quick. Something that God's getting ready to do. Just watch her. Don't hold her. Just watch her. She's under the anointing. Y'all give me a moment. Be quiet. Just stay still. There's something coming to your dream world. There's a value experience coming to your dream world. 
The Holy Ghost said that you're getting ready to see visions. And you're going to start opening your mouth and you're going to start declaring what it is that you see. But God said that it is not just to use you in a spiritual way, but it's also to position you in the things of the spirit. You're the holdup in a lot of areas with why certain family members have not yet shipped and take certain places as it relates with ministry. Because you're a strong person of impact and influence. Your voice and your decisions matter. And so sometimes they follow you, and if you say it's good and it's okay, they feel comfortable with doing certain things. So what God says is he's going to begin to use and uh, work on you until he's able to get them to a place of development and maturity that they can make their own decisions. So God says that you are not in this, this thing that I'm prophesying about. It's not just about you. It's also about those that are connected to you, saith the Lord. And so God is going to begin to even give you strategy because sometimes you don't feel that you're enough. But God said, I'm going to give you strategy on how to handle and juggle ministry and personal life. And God says this very clear in my ear. Tell her that this is not going to be a season where her personal will get involved with the spirit. Mm. God said, keep the two separate. You hear me? And you got to let it go. Lift your hands. God wants you to let some stuff go. Ataman. Forgive. Mm -hmm. And I cursed that demon and said, I'll forgive, but I won't forget. I cursed that demon. And I take out, see, because even in your bloodline, there's a spirit of vengeance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on off of her. A spirit of vengeance on your bloodline. I'm snatching it off of y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I told you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you ain't got to get back at nobody. You ain't got to get back at nobody. God got it. God got it. So, it is. It is. It is. Just watch it. Don't touch it. Just watch it. Just watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because I see the witchcraft too that they try to. Mm -hmm. There's, a... There's somebody that you spoke to. To try to use secrets against you, and use things and manipulation, powers of manipulation, control, and try to have too much stuff, confuse things. Woo. I see like confusion in conversations. Like we, like you're having conversations and you're having it in a pure way, but I see somebody with another motive. There's a tongue behind the tongue. Ah, yeah. Am I am, am I prophesying? Am I, uh, yes. Uh, uh -huh. God said it's time to loose these people and let them go. Hold your hand up. I curse the devil off of your products, your hands, your wealth, your prosperity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before this, the, it cool. by tomorrow, you need to come back in here with the seed of $100. Go to your bank and get it, because it's there. Go and get it. <coughs> Put it in that envelope and bring that $100 seed here. Because God said, I'm going to break the dry spell off of your money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you yeah, because somebody don't want you to have more than them. They want to keep you stuck and limited. And there's an anointing. I, 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 I got to touch you one more time. An, I'm, I'm, I'm going to lay an anointing. I want you to receive this lady. There's an anointing I'm going to lay on you. And I'm going to get this mic over. There's an anointing I'm going to lay on you. Because God said it's an anointing that you need to fight this enemy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I see God troubling your spirit. 5 a.m. in the morning to get up and start praying. There's some prayer time. Time to change your garments in the spirit. Mm -hmm. North Carolina, you quiet in time. Now you come to revival and put a time in the morning. How y'all do that? Oh, that's how I see it. Yes, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't have long, so I need you to drop this glory fast. I think, put your right hand in her direction. I feel power. It, and every person whose hand is pointed in her direction, when I breathe on her, if you go up and praise, God said, I'll drop power on you. I see buckets of power over our heads. God said, I'm going to drop power on every praise. Hey, glory to God. Set the spirit of the living God. I'm going to count the three. And if you catch it, God said, you can have it. Father, it is not by might nor is it by power. But it is by your spirit, watch up, in the name of Jesus. We think of this anointing. We think of that heaven is open. We think of that heaven is open. We think of that heaven is open. Release your glory. One, two, three. Come here. Come 
put the top of the thing. Listen to me. Keep speaking in tongues. Listen to me. I'm very close to this bowl that she showed me. I'm very close. And I, I, we can't leave without it. Very close to where I need to be. We've done well, but I'm very close to where we need to be. This is what I need. This is what I need. Oh my God, that's where I am. Okay, this is what I need. I need, I need 70, 68 dollars. 68, I'm very close to where I need to be. I need 68 dollars. You want? From another world. It's from another world. It's from another world. It's from another world. It's from another world. The pastor of this church, God's about to bless him. I don't know if he's still in this building. I don't know if he's still here or not. But God's about to bless the pastor of this church. God's about to bless him. God's about to bless him. Because he opened his doors. And they can never call shy. God said, I'm going to bless him. God said, I'm going to bless him. God said, I'm going to bless him. God said, I'm I need y'all to open your mouth and praise God. God said, I'm going to bless him. Come on, lift it up. Who am I coming to? Come on, lift it up. I, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I need it. Come on, lift, lift it up. If I'm coming to you, you're sowing more. I need you to sow more. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on, we're almost there. Come on, we're almost there. All I needed was $2,000, and I'm telling y'all, we're almost there. And y'all gonna be in a new place. Y'all listen to what I'm saying in here. Don't take multiple nights and take one night. All you gotta do is be willing and obedient. Take out your checkbook and write the check, and let's go ahead and move in a new building. Ain't nobody gotta have seven days of church. Take out your checkbook and write the check. Touch my hand, brother. I decree and declare healing over you. The name of Jesus. Add to her life. The name of Jesus. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you. Thank you, mamas. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Come on, son. Thank you. Where you work at? KFC, yeah, because I see a, yeah, I see increase on you. When you turned around and I saw your face, I saw added money on you. And I know that KFC told you what they're going to give you, but God said that there's a change that's coming to the numbers that they told you. And they told you that they would not move from that number, and that's all you're going to get. Lift your hands. The Holy Ghost said it's over. You're going to have what I say, so I told you, shut up behind That young lady is going to also drive early. I see also, I told her to shut up. Oh my God, she's going to drive early. 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 I told her to shut I don't know what that means, but it must mean something with the whole house going to shut Save some for tomorrow. If you give it tonight, we don't have to worry about tomorrow. I, I'm trying to tell y'all. 
We don't have to have seven days of church to raise it. God can do it tonight. Somebody say tonight. Tonight. Oh, God. Your good prophet is so good to see you again. Oh, God. I love you guys. So many of y'all. I love y'all so much. Oh, God. I'm almost there. told me to tell her a month ago he was going to give her a Honda Accord paid in full. Whoa. Yeah, God. You received that? Get up and start dancing if you receive it. Come on, dance. Come on. 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 Somebody from the valley to overflow. Come on. Oh God. If you're still watching by social media, come on, you still got time to sow. Oh to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to check the law to see who sold. And those that sold, I'm sending you a personal word of prophecy. And they don't joke. Inbox me your email, because I'm gonna send you a prophecy by Monday. I need someone to open your mouth. This ain't a joke here. Glory to God. This ain't a joke here. Glory to God. Because if you sow it to the people of God, amen. If you sow it to the prophet, the prophet gonna sow it to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who said I was holding out till tomorrow? Who's that? Who said that you hold until tomorrow? Who said that? I got tomorrow, we gotta we gotta sow tomorrow. Who said that? Who said I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to hold on to to just the little bit that I have? Who is that? Who is that? Come, come, I want you to come and just loose what you have now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Come just loose what you have now. Come just loose what you have now. Would you believe me if I told you I was a hundred dollars away? From two thousand dollars? Because that's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. I'm not gonna mess with you and your bank account. All right, Lord well, God, that's all that needs a hundred dollars. Come on, one person can give that, or all of us in here get five dollars, or five people get twenty dollars, and come on and help me get the last hundred dollars, and we have our gold, and we in a new building. That's it. Lord well, God, in Jesus' name, I see some digging. That's a good sign. You don't feel like walking? Lift it up. I'll come to you. Amen. I'll come to you. Somebody got it right in their bank account. I'm looking straight at you. Oh God, right, it's right in your bank account. You got that hundred dollars sitting right in that bank account, and you you you, you ain't planning on doing nothing but go to the mall with it. Oh God, hato mo shika ba hata. Oh God, uh huh, going right to the mall. Oh God, how did you get some perfume and some? Oh, so da ba hata. You better come on and loose it. You better come on and loose it. Come on and loose it. I don't know what you got, but you need to get something. The usher. Yeah, I don't know what you got, but get something. Because God said you getting ready to see his hand. Yeah. In a few more hours. This ain't, lady. I'm talking about in a few hours. God's about to show up for you. We ain't going to struggle this year. What you was waiting on to get blessed for? Oh, to God, you should have ran up here and gave that miracle. Oh, God's waiting to bless you. You behind scheduling some stuff that God has for your life. You hear me? Glory to God. Say, Lord, I receive everything you have for me. And I won't fear levels of success that's coming to my life. Jesus. Restriction is broken. Spirit of the ladies. Jesus. Somebody had a dark cloud over, over them, but God said, I just lift the cloud. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Like, like, like lately, you've been feeling like something is over you or somebody's watching you. It's like it's almost like the enemy had you in like a like a like a paranoia, like a panic. You in here. Don't act like you in here when I'm saying. God said, I lift the cloud from over you. Oh, the spirit of the God. Say, say, say it again. I like witnesses. Uh, um, I just 
always felt paranoid, I guess, and I gave the last three bucks I got on my bank account, uh -huh. and uh, you said that, and it just felt a little bit different. Yeah. So. All right. All right. All right. No money at all? Um, no, no, don't, don't, uh, just answer. I have foreign currency, but. You have it in, in foreign yeah. currency, yeah. but in the American dollar, you have no money at all. No. Stand up, <laughs> lift your hands. I'm gonna give you $100 tonight. Oh, and this okay. is the, no, because okay. God told me to. And this is the last time you will ever run dry in the American hey. dollar. Hey. <laughs> and checks. We thank you that the book of Deuteronomy is in effect right now. In the same year that we sowed, we reap the harvest. We thank you, Father, according to Malachi 3, verse number 10, when seeds are released, demons are rebuked. We thank you right now, Father, that the dry spell, somebody felt that, that somebody, somebody caught that when I said it, somebody received that when I said it, Father, we thank you that the demon of dry spell, the demon of lack, that demon of poverty, that demon of not enough, has been rebuked. And it flows over this church, over the people that's even supporting this revival, and those that are watching my social media, I give you the glory, I give you the honor, I give you the praise, the walk in glory, celebrate God. Because the Lord said, you will see it this year. This is 